Hey, my name is Donnie. Hey. I'm just going to fill you in on what's going on with my kayak build here. I meant to take a bunch of pictures and keep a running record of each step, but it's kind of hard to do when you're by yourself. This is my jump shed, which doubles as a hopefully a kayak building shed. I've got the gunnels here almost ready to peg the ends together. I've got my center spreader in right there. I made it about 22 inches wide. Hopefully it'll have a little bit of stability but uh, be narrow enough to go pretty fast in the water. This is my bow spreader. Got that in place there. Hopefully got a Got the curves all correct and everything. I'm going to show you some of the tools I'm using. Here's my table saw, courtesy of my late brother-in-law. Got a nice stand for it there and everything. Got a, here's my mallet and drill and my plane. Here's one I'm real proud of. This was an old hand saw that belonged to my grandfather. Old school saw there, took it to the saw shop and had it sharpened. They said it was real good steel. Got my laptop out here for my plans. Also a source for my tunes. Got my skill saw. Most important here in Mississippi. Got a big fan. Got a few other tools laying around. There's our other kayaks. That's a little dagger that belongs to my youngest son. Got my canoe over there on the wall. Here's my miter saw. Also courtesy of my late brother-in-law. As you can see, this is a pretty primitive shed. I got my lawnmower here. Just a ton of junk. Got a concrete mixer that hopefully I won't need for a long time. Anyway, I've got the stern here tied together. I've got to uh, make sure my angles are all pretty well correct. And I've got to saw the ends out a little bit. Make sure this slot here fits real good. If you can see there, it's, it's going to be about 17 feet long. And like I said, about a 22 inch beam on it. I've got the, uh, show you here, I spent a lot of time routing out the slots here for the ribs on the underside. Also got a, let me show you that. Got a, uh, got a old school Craftsman router off of eBay. That was another experience. Took about a half a day to get that thing uh, off the gunk out from the sleeve that, where it goes up and down for your depth of cut and everything. That was fun. I thought I spent $15 for nothing. Anyway, that's it for today. I got to get these ends here squeezed in a little bit closer here at the bottom. And then I'm ready to peg the ends together and start the... Uh, process of cutting out the deck beams and getting this thing looking like a boat. See you later.